Well, still on crime matters, the Director of Public Prosecutions, Nurin Haji, has recommended prosecution of 28 individuals the ESCC has been investigating. And as Stephen Leto now reports, the 28 include officials of the Kenya Pipeline Company, current and former governors. Integrity Center has submitted to Parliament the status of cases it has been probing with 39 files forwarded to the DPP. He has recommended prosecution of individuals in 28 files. In the quarterly status report, ESCC says the office of the DPP returned a file for further investigations following revelations that Kenya Pipeline Company paid 30 million shillings to one company for the supply of auto transformers. According to investigations by ESCC, Redline Limited had been procured by KPC to supply auto transformers from France and install them locally. But to date, ESCC says no auto transformer was supplied by the Redline company, yet it had been paid the whole amount. The ESCC also recommended prosecution of officials working for Nairobi County from 2016 during Dr. Ivan Skidero's tenure for paying 58 million shillings to a firm of advocates as legal fees. The money was later transferred to accounts held on behalf of the county officials. Also set for a date in court is the chair for the National Industrial Training Authority, NITA, who according to ESCC is said to have received irregular allowances amounting to three million million shillings. The DPP has also okayed the prosecution of city businessman and proprietor of Grand Manor Hotel, Praful Kumar, who had attempted to bribe Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko to have him approve building of his hotel in Gigiri, a site that Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko had stopped in August 2018. The businessman had offered Sonko 5 million shillings and was arrested in a sting operation. Former Kirinyaga Governor Joseph Ndathi could also be heading to the dock after ESCC established he paid 1.2 million shillings during his first year in office for analysis of his Facebook page. With the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission having forwarded several files to the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, the Integrity Center has now tossed the ball over to the DPP, asking that all the files presented to them are acted upon. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Nairobi.